Search the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you Dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck! Get the fuck out. Something I can help you with? We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Ten four.
Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go! You better not be passed out. Come on! Barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll, I'll fix you a drink. What the fuck? Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a good friend of mine tonight. Point this house down. I want to know who they are and where they're operating out of. Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell me. Mickey Desmond. Oh, oh he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Come on, get in. Anything about the Mix lately? Nah, no, no. Why? The Mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot, so he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shit old joint right now, laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of them. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? A lot. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. Vito, come on, let's go get these fucks. I told you, I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away, but I'll find him, and when I do... You were the one who ran away, asshole. Oh, fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. I'm back! I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, asshole. Oh, fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Not bad, eh? All right. I'm gonna try you to get shoot by. like my sister. 
He's over there! Back me up, Vito. Let's go, Vito. Die, asshole! He ain't got a chance. It hurts. He's over there! Go! I won't want to get on your bad side. Come on, show yourself. Let's go to getting away. All right, come on, you drive. Got some nut job here shooting a gun. Copy that. Step on the feet. Some guy here just assaulted an officer. Roger that. Takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but it don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have the cash for a new one real soon. I'm going in. You shoot like my sister. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of her right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use her while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff that got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Those are my things, Joe. What do you think I do to shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. And then we'll fuck a war frat like no man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Class is always fucking half full with you, isn't it? Pursuit of a hit-and-run driver. 10-4. Slow the fuck down before you get pulled over. Okay, I'll see you around, I guess. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight.
Fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Fuck, this is creepy. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in...